In this video, we'll talk about India's own ballistic missile shield program and compare it briefly with Aegis ballistic missile defense system. On 22nd April, Defense Research and Development Organization and Indian Navy successfully conducted a maiden flight of a sea-based endo-atmospheric interceptor missile off the coast of Odisha. There were multiple speculation about this missile test, but now more or less we know everything about it because the Indian Navy spokesperson took Twitter and released a photograph of this test. Based on the photograph that is shown on your screen right now, you can understand this test was conducted from A41 INS Anvesh. In the photograph, you can see the structure behind the radar structure. Another important aspect which you can understand from this photograph is the type of the missile system. Many commentators thought the missile tested was AAD-1 and many thought it was AD-1. AAD-1 was basically from the BMD Phase 1 and it is used for endo-atmospheric interceptions. Whereas AD-2 is basically from BMD Phase 2 program and this missile system is capable of taking out targets even at lower exo-atmospheric situation. On your screen right now, on the left side you have AD-1 which is from Ballistic Missile Shield Program Phase 2 whereas on the right hand side you have AAD-1 which is from the Ballistic Missile Shield Phase 1 program. Now if you compare both of these missile systems from the test missile, you can understand the test missile was AAD-1. So the system which is navalized is Ballistic Missile Shield Phase 1 program. When we talk about India's Ballistic Missile Shield program, there are a lot of confusion around that. So let's try understanding each phase one by one and understand various components and their respective specifications. Starting with the phase one, there are two interceptors in phase one. First one is called Advanced Air Defense System or Ashwin Air Defense System. This interceptor missile system can take on enemy ballistic missiles up to an altitude of 40 kilometers, which implies this is an endo-atmospheric interceptor. That is, the missile system is capable of taking on enemy ballistic missile once they re-enter the atmosphere. The other interceptor in phase 1 is called Prithvi Defense Vehicle. This missile system is modified Prithvi missile system, which is modified to take on enemy ballistic missile in mid-course. It is believed that this missile system can take on enemy ballistic missile at an altitude of 150 km. Some reports suggest it can take on the enemy ballistic missile up to 180 km, whereas the test results suggest it has already taken out simulated enemy ballistic missile at an altitude of 130 km. Talking about the phase 2, it will also have two different interceptors. The first one is called AD-1. This missile system is designed to take on enemy ballistic missile inside the atmosphere. The maximum engagement altitude will be 80 km, whereas the second missile of this phase will be capable of taking on enemy ballistic missile at an altitude of 320 km. India's anti-satellite weapon is basically Prithvi Defense Vehicle Mark II. The missile system is capable of taking on ballistic missiles up to an altitude of 1000 km. The phase 1 of ballistic missile shield program is already deployed and now it is getting operational on ships although INS Anvesh is basically a floating testbed but eventually these systems will be deployed on various destroyers of Indian Navy. So in theory we can say these systems will form India's own Aegis system. LRMFR will be India's ANSPY-6, Advanced Air Defense System will be India's SM-6 and Prithvi Defense Vehicle will be India's SM-3. However, these systems are still long way to go because if you compare Prithvi Defense Vehicle with SM-3, you can understand SM-3 can take on enemy ballistic missile at an altitude of 1000 km. It's not that India does not have a capability to hit a ballistic missile at an altitude of 1000 km, but that capability can only be offered by Prithvi Defense Vehicle Mark II, which is actually an anti-satellite weapon. Additionally, that missile system is huge and cannot be fitted in vertical launch systems. So it will be interesting to see how Indian Navy takes up these projects or they will settle only for 320 km altitude. That's about it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Keep watching Alpha Defense.